So here we have 13.3 linear combination of matrices. We have B equal to this matrix, C equal to this matrix. Remember, in order for you to do any kind of linear combination, um, mostly add and subtract. You can do scalar multiplication no matter what the dimensions of the matrix are because you're just taking that scalar times every single entry and then getting the new matrix. However, in order to do addition or subtraction, you, they do have to have the same dimension. And these are uh, two rows by two columns. C is also two rows by two columns. So they do have the same dimensions. So we can perform these linear um, combinations. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking each entry, corresponding entry. So first row, first column with first row, first column. First row, second column with first row, second column. Second row, first column, second row, first column, and second row, second column, second row, second column, okay? And we're doing this linear combination of them. So negative two times the B entry, minus five times the C entry, do your computations and you get the new entry. Then the same thing for this entry, so negative two times that entry, negative five times this entry, do the combinations, you get the result. Um, negative 2 times negative 6, negative 5 times 4, negative 2 times 1, negative 5 times 1. Again, do the computations and you get your results. Okay, This one's not too complicated once you've already learned the scalar multiplication and you've learned how to add and subtract matrices. It's just a matter of putting it all together.